What's up investors? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Richard Allen and in this video we're going to cover a Motley Fool article titled three top value stocks to buy now and one of the companies is one of our favorite companies to talk about nano dimension we're going to get to that last but there are two other companies one that we've talked about here on the channel as well and one that we have it without further ado let's just jump right into the article it says many investors have a gross misconception of value investing that it is only applicable to buying shares of companies trading below their net asset value or at a ridiculously low multiple of earnings however this method's real success lies in purchasing stakes in companies that are capable of unlocking their actual intrinsic value. And we talk about the potential value, all right? That's what he means by intrinsic value. We talk about the potential value of nano dimension all the time. Um, and, and that's part of this article as well, okay? It says, figuratively speaking, some well-run companies virtually have the license to print more and more money year after year just like Jerome Powell, baby, brrr, goes the printer, all right? Yet their corresponding growth in cash flows at various times do not reflect in their stock prices. But eventually, the market catches the hint and wakes up to these businesses. It says, in fact, three such value stocks in this category have returned between 21% to 2930% in the past three months alone. Ocugen or ticker symbol OCGN is the first company we're going to talk about. The second company is the Chamath SPAC IPOE. That company is taking SoFi public. Okay, that's a SPAC. And Nano Dimension or ticker symbol NNDM. Again, one of our favorite companies to talk about and hear about on this channel. That's far better than the S&P 500's meager 6% return during the same period. Just how much value is stored in these companies. All right, let's scroll down here. Lots of money. Look at this guy. Just, just throwing out the money. <laughs> Number one, Ocugen. Ocugen is a biotech company that is developing gene therapies with the ultimate goal of curing blindness. Its therapeutics have not yet entered phase one clinical testing, despite being in an infancy of accomplishing a seemingly impossible feat. The company has already racked up a massive... 1.77 billion market cap what gives it says as it turns out ocugen is up for a billion dollar opportunity via the distribution of a that's right cv19 vaccine its partner barat borat biotech it's probably not borat Borat Biotech has developed an 81 percent effective cv19 vaccine that cleared india's regulatory pathway Borat Biotech and Ocugen are now seeking an emergency use authorization for its vaccine with the U.S. FDA here. The two firms plan to sell 100 million doses of this vaccine in the U.S. starting in Q2 2021. If successful, Ocugen would receive up to 45% of the venture's profits, which would likely amount to $1 billion given the current pricing environment for them. Moreover, Ocugen could then reinvest its profits back into developing its gene therapy, skipping the alternative of diluting existing investors holding for more capital. This is one heck of a fantastic move on Ocugen's part to fund its own research. I would definitely recommend avid biotech investors add this to their portfolios. Now, that, that's a quote from him. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying buy Ocugen. I can't. Not a financial advisor. This pr person probably isn't either. But if you like biotech companies, maybe you're blind. And you want to cure your br blindness. Look for Ocugen. Hope some of you got that joke. It's pretty good stuff. <laughs> All right, let's jump over to the charts for OCGN really quick here on Weeble. If you don't have Weeble, you can sign up for Weeble. All you have to do is deposit 100 bucks, sign up for a new account. And you get two free stocks valued at up to $1,850. It's a pretty good deal. They still got that going on, okay? OCGN or Ocugen has traded sideways for quite a while, all, all month essentially, right? Um, and we're at, we're seemingly kind of at good levels of support right now at 814. But look at the, 
look at the crazy disparity in price we've seen a lot of these charts lately where back in you know january february stocks just run up like crazy from a dollar 40 up to 1870 per share if if they do what they say they're going to do here um and they're able to get emergency authorization from the f today that would be a huge catalyst for Oc ocugen going forward so pay attention to this stock again it's ocgn this could be some easy money easy money if they do get fda approval okay all right let's switch back over to the motley fool article number two social capital hudo sophia holdings number five or ipoe right now it says the only way to buy personal finance company sofi is through shares of its acquirer social capital hedio sophia holdings the transaction is set to close in april so pretty pretty soon sofi is one of the fastest growing firms in the finance sector it distinguishes itself from competitors by offering an all-in-one platform for home loans student loans personal loans investments credit cards and on and on and on they do so much plus they have a trading platform Customers can access an enormous selection of financial products all through its namesake SoFi app. This year, SoFi expects to grow its revenue by 60% year over year to $1 billion and break even in terms of operating income less non-cash expenses. By 2025, SoFi projects its revenue and EBITDA will increase to $3.7 billion and $1.2 billion respectively be pretty good stuff if they can hit those it currently has more than 1.72 million members with 775,000 customers signing up for more than one product trading at just 14 times 2025 earnings this is a fast growing gem in the financial sector you do not want to miss when when this deal got announced this went from 11 something and just shot up to like $22 almost immediately. It was like same day, like double. IPOE has had some tremendous volatility in its stock. Now, the 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 market cap valuation at $10 per share for IPOE was north of $8 billion. And so it, with a company like BFT out there as well, Paysafe, okay? Um, that's one I like a ton. Um, it has a very similar uh, valuation at $10 per share and does much more in revenue already so um that's that's something to look at um in in the fintech space i really really do like sofi and i think in the long term it'll be a fantastic play going forward but i think the valuation is something that's has scared people a little bit when it comes to sofi okay all right let's swing back over number three our baby our little baby nano little tiny nano dimension with a market cap of 2.4 billion dollars but an annual revenue of just 3.4 million people are up in arms about that it's pretty fun many investors are probably wondering how on earth nano dimensions comes close to being a value stock the answer lies in its intangible assets intangible ooh, ooh, what's intangible can't touch it it's intangible you see, the company has invented its signature device called the Dragonfly LDM for the manufacturing of 3D printed electronics such as sen sensors, conductors, antennas, and molded connected devices. Each machine comes at a cost of 150 to 250. It's closer to 250 to 400,000. Um, by the way, we do know that. Fear not the price tag, though. For there are ample cost savings attached to such a device. For starters, developers can automate the Dragonfly LDM or Lights Out Manufacturing, Lights Out Digital Manufacturing, for it to run 24-7. Its ability to manufacture complex geometries saves designers time and effort. As they can easily print prototypes early on and fix errors, finally, because it's a 3D printer, the actual time taken for manufacturing and assembling individual components disappears almost entirely the company took a temporary hit to its sales as cv19 forced many manufacturers to cut capital expenditures we've heard that over and over again by 2025 however the global 3d printing market will likely recover and grow to 2.4 billion dollars nano dimension has more than enough cash 670 million now nah, they got more than that to sustain its operating loss of 35.7 million per year so i'd expect it to make a full and robust recovery if you are passionate about the industrial stocks nano dimension is a great bet 
Let's swing over to the chart for nano dimension here or ticker symbol NNDM. And uh, we're under $10 per share again. So 935. However, we're at a spot where depending on where the market goes, obviously this is a decent support level. Okay. So it, it could bounce from here. Um, if it drops another 10 cents or so, that would be kind of really good support level. And I could see it returning to back above 10, 11, $12 relatively quickly we know how fast this stock can move a, a lot of you guys absolutely love this stock and are long-term holders of nano dimension myself included i'm not selling anytime soon um and i am down uh quite a bit in this position from averaging up and stuff like that i think my last purchase was in like the 14 something range uh because i didn't think it was dropping below that but i was wrong i can be wrong sometimes so can you i don't have a crystal ball i'm not a magician or a wizard my name isn't Harry Potter, or Ron Weasley, or Hermione. I don't know the future, but I do know that I believe in Nano Dimension long term. Thank you so much for joining me for another video again. My name is Richard Allen. I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you so much for watching another one of my videos. As always, if you didn't already do it, click that beautiful red subscribe button down below, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.